Okay, um, <clears throat> so for this part, you're just going to um, uh, take the time that it takes you to do something with your appliance and convert that to hours. Um, and so again, uh, uh, my roommate's uh, blunder, uh, I think he usually runs it for about like 20 seconds or so. Oh, excuse me, I'm on the wrong uh, version here. Yeah, I think he usually runs it for about 20 seconds, so we're going to put that in here under the time as about 20 seconds. Delete. Twenty seconds. Um, okay, and then whatever time you put in, you need to convert that to hours. So, if you recorded the time in seconds, um, then uh, you need to uh, take that appliance, uh, take that time for your uh, your run time for your appliance, and then you divide by thirty six hundred, three thousand six hundred, and that will convert it to hours. Um, if you recorded your time in minutes, like let's say, I don't know, you were using a microwave or something like that, and you said, hey, it ran for five minutes, then you're going to divide by 60 instead of 3,600. So if, if your time was in seconds, you'll divide by 3,600. If your time was in minutes, you'll divide by 60. So since my time was in seconds, I'm going to divide by 60. I'm going to say, um, you know, let's do this with... Um, in bold and in red, so we'll do 20 divided by 3600 because mine's in seconds and I need to uh, convert that uh, to hours. So 20 divided by 3600, this is going to be a very small number. So you can see I get 0 0.005 repeating. So I'm going to take two digits after the zeros. So 0, 0.00 and then 5, 6, right? Because this 5 means that that 5 is going to round up to a 6. Um, so I'll write that out. 0 0.0056 and that's hours. So you got to make sure you include the units. So we're converting to hours. So whatever you end up dividing by here, whether you divide by 3,600 or whether you divide by 60, you're converting whatever your time was into hours. So I'm converting from seconds to hours. Um, and so that's going to be my final answer there.